a former White House official just sounded the alarm about Trump, he's losing it, mentally it's been very, very clear to everyone around the country that the president's brain is not doing well these days. Having begun the presidency already locked in a fantastical conception of reality informed solely by his insatiable ego and his own paranoid delusions of grandeur, the president's mental state has noticeably deteriorated under the pressures of stress, frustration and insecurity that were already driving him insane and have since been exponentially magnified by the demands of office. We didn't need Anthony Scarmusi to tell us that but his warning is welcome anyway. The infamous Mooch who was communications director for a wild 11 days before being fired ignominiously, told Vanity Fair that I think the guy is losing it, mentally. He has declining mental faculties, he's becoming more petulant, he's becoming more impetuous. Okay, you see just by the way he's sweating, his body's not doing well. It's obviously not a guy that takes care of himself, right? Seeing as the president is infamous for eschewing all exercise and keeps a diet inspired by an eight-year-old who permanently lives at Chuck E. Cheese, it's no surprise that his gluttonous form is even betraying the amphetamine salts that he allegedly uses to stay upright. Scarmusi went on to warn that everyone who would usually be offering restraint and any kind of reasonable counsel to the president is long gone. And he doesn't listen to anybody. And just think about this, okay? There's no one there's no Jim Mattis, there's no Gary Cohn, there's no one to check him anymore. Whatever my differences were with General John Kelly, after he left, this thing has completely unspooled. It's questionable how often that advice was listened to at all, but it indeed is extremely disturbing that the president has rid himself of most of his competent advisors and is instead relying the advice of glassy-eyed psychopaths like Stephen Miller or the arrogantly selfing and stunning uninformed opinions of his dipshit children. Watching his latest rallies, one is struck by the surreality of it all. Thousands of people hooting and baying as a sundowning old racist leaks his brains all over the podium, slurring his way through garbled half-articulated Fox and Friends talking points and naked white supremacist conspiracy theories before swinging into a bizarre tangent about his handsome generals, forgetting what he was talking about, and then moving on like nothing happened. That's the President of the United States. But since his Republican enablers in Congress would rather see this country burn than relinquish one ounce of power, we're stuck with him for at least another year. We just have to hope his fear of doing anything that might damage his approval rating will be stronger than his more destructive impulses.